two months of ice cream ends today, my friends. This is the last of the Armstrong Ice Cream Challenge. I wanted to go and try every awesome ice cream creation across this county, and I want to take you along for the journey. We're going to go visit eight different locations all across Armstrong County, and we are going to try items from each shop in three different categories. Category number one is the classic. Category number two is the crowd favorite. And then category number three is the craziest creation. And best of all, we have $280 worth of free ice cream that we're gonna give away to you. There's been a lot of votes cast for your favorite ice cream shop today. Many of you have already voted for this place. We haven't even been here yet. It seems like it's legendary. Today we're in Rural Valley and we're at Frosty's. Welcome to Frosty's. Okay, so I'm here with the owner of uh, owners of Frosty's, Brian and Terry Kreitzer. Uh, you guys, you said you started this place. How long ago was it? Uh, this is our 13th season. 13 years. 13 and, years. And uh, how's it going? Good. 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 Really well. Busy. Um, <laughs> started off a little slower 13 years ago, but now uh, it's, it's hard to believe where it is now, yes. Yeah, I, I was uh, telling you inside, like, the way people talk about this place, it's kind of legendary for this area. I, I thought it was here for, like, 50 years, the way everyone <laughs> talks about it. So, um, And there's, you have a following already. We've had a lot of votes already come in for Frosties, and we, we didn't even do the video yet. So uh, people really love this place. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like uh, more and more all the time, you know, we just all see all these new faces. Um, it's, it's you know kind of overwhelming there's days where we don't know as many people as we do know yeah <laughs> and that's, that's kind of overwhelming yes well I know we're sure excited to be here and to try it out um, we're gonna try three creations today we have a classic crowd favorite and on our crazy creation uh, what's our classic today uh, the classic we just went with I think you know every ice cream stand out there has uh, the banana split the traditional banana split uh, nice. that's gonna be our classic yeah, I, I like that we've gotten a lot of banana splits because it gives me a nice point of uh, comparison between everybody. Yeah. So, is there anything uh, different about yours? Like which ice creams and toppings do you guys use? Uh, we just, we, we actually, we have a lot of custom orders. Uh, people want different things. Uh, the one you're going to have today um, is going to be vanilla ice cream and one, uh, chocolate ice cream and one. We're going to do a twist. And then we do, we'll do uh, strawberry, hot fudge, and pineapple. Nice. And then whipped cream, cherries, and nuts is what we'll put on on for you today beautiful how about the crowd favorite what's your what's your most ordered item here um i think the crowd favorite would have to be um it's actually one of our creations it's it's the, called the pretzel salad parfait okay um we actually um we designed that about thir well 13 summers ago it's it's been with us and two reasons i mean we make um We've literally made thousands of pretzel salad parfaits. I mean, we have families that come in, five, six people, and they'll all order a pretzel salad parfait. <laughs> yeah. um, so I think that's what we're going to do for the crowd favorites. Nice. Um, as a category, it's maybe not the highest volume, but yeah. definitely as a singular item it is. Yeah. Awesome. Yes. Very cool. And then um, our crazy creation, I know you said you're, you guys are more <laughs> traditional, but you have something new you want to test out on us, so tell us about it. What we're going to do, um, we're actually going to unveil what's called the Patriot. Um, it's going to be something, it's going to showcase our new Italian ice, which we started this year for the first time. Um, it's going to have the Italian ice and our soft serve ice cream in it. And it's actually, we're going to use it as proceeds are going to go towards uh, different charities, wow. um, whether it be things like the Wounded Warrior Project, whether, you know, local charities. Um, that's kind of what we're going to do with it. That's so. fantastic. Uh, how cool. So we're going to have Italian ice and then vanilla ice cream with it? Yes. yes. Oh, man, mm -hmm. that sounds amazing. Yeah. One of my favorite things is like the dreamsicle mm -hmm. kind of flavor, yeah. like the fruit and vanilla ice cream. So yeah. I'm really pumped for that. Yeah, and we're going to use um, we're going to use actually the cherry ice and the blueberry ice with it. So it's going to be a red, white, and blue theme oh, awesome. uh, for the Patriots. So yeah. fantastic. And red, white, and blue sprinkles on top too. Yes. How cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I'm really excited to try that and uh, show show it off. And then you guys out there, if you want to come and try it, you'll know that part of the proceeds will go towards a good cause and uh, a very worthy cause, might I say. So what's the best way for people to keep up with what goes on at Frosty's? How can people stay in touch with what you what you have going on? Uh, Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> Facebook. Yeah. Um, yeah, we have a we have a, a Frosty's page. Um, this is where we do, um, you know, like our flavor of the week we put on there, and 
Um, any item that we feature, the new item goes on there as well. Awesome. Um, yeah, we do have an Instagram page. Um, it gets a little hard keeping up with, with everything. Um, we do upload pictures and things of stuff we do on Instagram. Yeah. Um, but, but Facebook just seems to reach so many people. That that's, seems to be the best way. Or, you know, a phone call even, you know. Yeah. Perfect. And honestly, I think word of mouth. Yes. Word of mouth is just as popular as Facebook like mm -hmm. yeah because we have people that'll come in and they're like oh this is our first time here and then you know you they come back maybe next weekend you recognize them again and they're like well we just liked it so much and we brought friends you know <laughs> yeah. so nice. yep. yeah just just word of mouth too yep. so if you don't have a friend bringing your frosties like do you even have any friends <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right well let's go try some ice cream and uh I'll put the link in the description for these guys Facebook and Instagram so if you want to go follow them there uh you all can do that A little, you look a little blue there. <laughs> you good? These guys are not, uh, they're not skimpy on portion sizes. Look at this banana split. This has to be, I don't know, four pounds of ice cream or something. <laughs> like it is a lot of ice cream here. It's got a lot of weight to it. We're gonna give it a try. I'm gonna try each individual part. Try to get a soft serve in there as well. We'll see how that is. Hmm. Oh my goodness. It is like the thickest soft serve that we've had so far, I think. Mm, super rich. And with the, um, with the strawberry and the, and the nuts, this is an amazing. Wow. Okay. We go hot fudge banana with the twist. And then pineapple with the vanilla. This is so well done. I'm trying just the vanilla by itself. I'm trying to get, like this is the last one now, so I have all these ice cream shops going through my mind trying to like figure out. Their soft serve here is like really top notch. I'm extremely impressed. Like this is, this is as big as every other place and the quality of this thing is really high. Well done. The girls got to get a try here too. Mm. Mm. Mom's looking pretty salad. cool. Okay, next on the list, we have the strawberry pretzel parfait here. You got vanilla ice cream, marshmallow, strawberries, vanilla ice cream, marshmallow, strawberries. Oh, there's pretzels in the middle there too. This is, uh, this is impressive. This is like, I don't know, this looks like a 20 ounce cup, I would guess. This is, uh, this is large. We'll see. Mm. Wow. That's really good. Mm. So the key to the pretzel salad is the fresh pretzels. The marshmallow is a nice touch as well. These are really fresh and they br their pretzel pieces are broken into small little, little pieces and um, that's a nice touch as well. I'm not a huge fan of pretzels. I love strawberry pretzel salad though. Like I don't just sit at home and eat pretzels. 
So I like the smaller ones. It's like a nice little touch. Hmm. Man, is that good. This would be Elizabeth's jam right here, so. Do you want to try mm. this? I'm trying to envision. I'm pretty sure you'd need multiple people to eat this. I'm not sure. I don't think I could do it in a single sitting. Okay. Two people could maybe finish it off. <laughs> you get excited about each and every creation, huh? It is pretty good. I gotta say too, as we're getting to the bottom, there's tons of pretzels and strawberries and marshmallow like all the way down. Extraordinarily generous portions here. All right, here we go. This this is the crazy creation. They said it's not crazy, but I, this is pretty unique. Uh, we haven't seen anything like this on the whole tour. You have layers of vanilla ice cream, cherry Italian ice, uh, another vanilla ice cream, uh, the raspberry Italian ice, and then the ice cream on top, red and blue sprinkles, whipped cream, cherry, of course. This is like a piece of art. This is one of the most beautiful creations that we've seen. This is legitimately impressive. We got another like 20 ounce cone of ice cream here. So a lot of ice cream today. This is called the Patriot. It's coming out just in time for 4th of July. It's very exciting. Let's try it. That looks like the craziest creation. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. I'm a big fan of like the fruit and uh, vanilla flavors together. So we'll see. So I love it together. I gotta get past the sprinkles. I'm not a sprinkle guy, but it does make it look beautiful. The vanilla ice cream blue raspberry together is fantastic. I'm gonna let the kids get the sprinkles off for me. They like sprinkles. <laughs> all right, the blue raspberry is good. I'm digging down. I'm giving the kids all a blue raspberry. Okay, give it to Lily. I'm trying to get down to the cherry to try it because I think that's gonna be the best part of this thing. I see some cherry. Yeah. All right, we're almost there. All right, here we go. Do, 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 do. Cherry, vanilla. Cherry, vanilla. It's really good. The blue raspberry, though, is just as good, I think. But these are, it's just uh, the fruit and vanilla together is really uh, awesome. I think the red, the red, the red part of ice cream is my favorite. Is that your favorite part? I'm kind of torn between the two now that I've tried both. Try the blue one more time. I'll get. I actually like the blue raspberry better, but the cool thing with the Patriot is you get both anyway. Couldn't quite put my finger on what the cherry tastes like, but it tastes like cherry flavored Twizzlers. And so if you like that flavor, you're going to love this. This drive through has not stopped since we came here. We got here at 3.30 in the afternoon. We're not here at what I thought would be a busy time, okay? Thank you guys so much. Got the superstar employees back here. You guys are great. How is it, everybody? Good. <laughs> wow, this place was special. They have this awesome little pavilion outside that was like a nice, quiet place for us to film. They got the drive through that really is just cranking cars all afternoon here. I've just been immensely impressed with our ice cream options in Armstrong County. How many awesome places we have within a half hour of our house is just. It's crazy when you think about the population of our places. Got the gift cards from Frosty's as well. I'm gonna get home and I'll tell you how you can win them. Hey, before we go home, Malachi, what was your favorite, buddy? The sprinkle one. The sprinkle one? You just love sprinkles, huh? How about Joey in the back? I like the one with the cherry and raspberry ice. Yeah, I like that too. Abby? Um, my favorite was the big birthday cake one because because that was the biggest scoop I ever had. <laughs> my favorite was the birthday cake one because that was the biggest scoop I ever had. I think you've copied Abby in every single video, yes, Lillian. Congratulations. I was a little partial to the pretzel salad and I just have a feeling someone else might have liked it as well. It was good.
really good. All right, guys, the end of the ice cream challenge. I'm sure most of you know by now, but to enter to win, you got to go to gcitw.org slash ice cream challenge. Make your vote for your favorite ice cream shop there, and you'll be entered to win a $25 gift card to your favorite place. Uh, one person will also win $10 to each of the eight shops for an $80 ice cream getaway extraordinaire <laughs> you can also share these videos on social media using hashtag gcitw or hashtag armstrong ice cream challenge and you can get entered that way as well a couple final notes on frosties man that place was incredible uh, our one word to describe it was beautiful <laughs> you go up they have a beautiful location there right on route 85 you go into the shop it is beautifully decorated i think it was the most beautiful shop that we've been in so far um, i wouldn't describe any of the shops we've been in as dirty but frosty's was like extraordinarily clean it was like every single machine was spotless every single countertop was spotless when they make the creations they are like works of art um, they are just simply beautiful uh, it doesn't hurt that they also have massive portions and they taste great too so uh, frosties was like grade a across the board i can see why people love it so much we loved it we'll definitely be back someday hopefully sooner than later so this is the end of the road where do we go from here <laughs> Uh, eight weeks of ice cream. Uh, somehow I'm still the same size as I was when we started, which is fantastic. But next Sunday, instead of a normal ice cream video that you've grown used to over the past eight weeks, uh, we'll have our recap video. So my family and I, we have our favorites that we're going to select. We're going to announce the ice cream shop that was the, uh, the winner of the ice cream challenge based off of all your votes. And then, of course, we're going to draw for the eight gift card winners and the one grand prize winner. And we'll get all of those out as soon as possible uh, so you guys can enjoy your ice cream over um, what I'm declaring as the greatest ice cream summer of all time so that means you got one more week to vote one more week to share uh, one more week to get your friends to vote so you can have some companionship on your ice cream journey but yeah it's been fun so far and i can't wait to do the recap video we might even just have a, a special surprise or two planned for that so uh, make sure you tune in uh, next sunday at seven was the ice cream good yeah <laughs> i can tell